Hey, this is the Long Lost Gamer, and we're back to another episode of Civilization VI as Shaka of the Zulu. We're going to try something a little bit different in this episode and try to kind of race towards the finish. Uh, we don't have a whole lot left to do on our landmass for a total domination game. Just need to conquer these two Spanish cities and make sure Cordoba becomes a part of our empire again. After that, we're going to probably focus on the Dutch. I think that's going to be our first target. We have a few challenges to look forward to with Nubia, Mongolia, and Brazil all having pretty high science. Nubia also has very high culture. Apparently, uh, Mongolia does have pretty high military strength, but ours is already higher, and that should continue to climb as we continue this playthrough. Uh, note, most of this episode will cut out the majority of empire management. I might include a few significant decisions, but for the most part, we're going to focus on the military. And that starts with these boats making their way west so that we can start attacking the Netherlands. But I will not show that much of the troop transportation either. At this point in the game, it's, it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm already into uh, pretty late game techs. And we're just going to supplement our military force in any way that seems viable. We have plenty of infantry down here. A couple of light cavalry units that we can upgrade into helicopters soon. We're going to just keep using them. We'll probably faith purchase and produce some tanks. Might use some bombers, etc, etc. Anyway, I'm going to get into it. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so we're in a golden age. And of course, Spain's in the Dark Age, but so is the Netherlands. That's great. So we can take over their cities very easily when we invade them. Brazil, on the other hand, is in a heroic age, so they are not likely to be target number two on the second landmass. Of course, we're going for two arms. That, that is by far the best option that we have available to us right now. Okay, so we're going to make a kind of unconventional choice here and first go for suffrage. I specifically want to get the... Uh, legacy card from finishing the final government plaza building from democracy. And we're going to try to use uh, one of the cards here, New Deal, in order to get uh, a lot more amenities in our empire, which we are sorely lacking at the moment. So that's what we're going to go for. Probably going to switch to fascism at some point. All right, uh, so we might as well go ahead and declare war now on Spain. There's no reason to wait. The new era has begun. So any era score I achieve through this war will be applied to the next era. We're going to do a lot of pillaging, too. In fact, that's the top priority. Let's go ahead and dump a bunch of envoys into Bandar Brunei and take it away from Spain. Get more era score for doing that. Hey, our first national park. That's nice. Okay, so first things first, we're going to switch over to democracy. You know, we are doing a lot of trade routes to uh, city-states that were Suzer now, so that's pretty good. And we were not the first ones to adopt a Tier 3 government. That's actually kind of unusual. A lot of times AI uh, undervalues that, actually, and sticks around with man, 42 amenities, 84 housing. That should help out quite a lot. No, oh, look at that. 14 cities are content. <laughs> not sure if that was enough to make it worthwhile. Oh well. Maybe we'll switch into fascism soon. I think we should go ahead and unlock it just in case. Oh wow, that's a really fast tank army. All right, Umgunun Lavu, I think that's what you are gonna be dedicated to, but you need to make a military academy first to get even better. Oh yeah, 75 production here. That is probably our highest production city now. Oh, hey, we'll get the Coliseum out of this, that's fun. Not a very good Coliseum. <laughs> Eight turns. Eight turns until war with the Netherlands, roughly. Next turn, we can start attacking A Coruña. Hey, there's the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Somehow. How is that possible? In this entire landmass... Okay, well, there's another copy of Uranium down here. But with 34 cities in my empire. Somehow... We only found one copy of uranium.
So, you know, we've got Akronia just surrounded by infantry and a couple AT units. Not doing anything fancy, just smashing them against the city. And it's enough. Next turn, we will own that city. Alright, that's Akronia. Finished. Start attacking Madrid again. I'll slowly work on Madrid. This is not a very efficient way of conquering cities. It'd be much better to have siege units with us, but it's okay. We can take Madrid in maybe just three turns. When we begin the assault on Madrid. promotion on the cavalry. Hopefully it doesn't die. So it should only take a couple little love taps to boom, 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 take Madrid. Yay. Here's one more capital. Boom, boom, and three. Spain is done. <laughs> Let's take a moment just really quick to recap where we are at. It's turn 218. I'm at 542 science per turn, 483 culture, 217 faith, 429 gold. None of that's particularly impressive for this far into the game. That said, we are absolutely ahead of uh, every single AI now, so that's heartening to see because it's taken quite a while to get to that point. And if we quickly take a look at the uh, victory ranking screen, you can see I am currently leading the way in a science victory, so we're not going to have to worry about stopping anyone with that. In culture, uh, Amanatore of Nubia, I guess, is... The strongest sieve but they still don't have very many tourists so once again don't really need to worry about that of course i'm on my way to domination and it looks like religion is pretty well split up across the world and <laughs> we have a whole mess of religions on our landmass anyway diplomacy is maybe a little more scary a mandatory only needs eight more points to win the game so uh, we might have to prioritize her all right we're going to change now to fascism i don't think democracy is actually all that good for us, unfortunately. Okay, so we put in Total War, probably Leve en Moss. Could do Lightning Warfare for super fast. Construction of tanks. Oh my goodness, 88 gold and 44 culture per turn. Yeah, let's plug that in over top of Leve en Moss for now, but we'll probably put Leve en Moss in as well soon enough. Uh, we absolutely do want Public Works in pretty much always. Maybe we go with Economic Union. You can now make a tank army in three turns. So, yeah, that should be pretty good. One more turn and we can get started with the war on the Netherlands. We've already got a decent amount of navy in position, ready to go. And a few land units, enough to at least take Amsterdam, which is the first city that we're going to go for. Golden Age War. Immediately come in with all of this. Oh, that's right. I gotta bring my Great Admiral up. That was a bit of a waste. That's okay. We'll still be pretty fast to take this city down. And I think our tanks are totally safe to go ahead and pop up here. I don't think the Netherlands can do very much damage to us. I do want to keep my artillery safe, and it doesn't look like there's any good coastline to do that with, so I'm going to let them hang back for the time being. <laughs> yeah, we might as well go to modern armor as well to do some damage back to the Hague. Wow. The Netherlands is not nearly strong enough. Let's take Amsterdam. Yeah, huh? And we will move Victor into there. There we go. Loyalty is not a problem. And then let's take The Hague. Nice follow up. You know, they're decent cities. So I guess we should go take Eindhoven, right? <laughs> there we go. That's fast. It looks like Mongolia's cities 
their combat strength is lower than Brazil and Nubia, so it might actually be a really good idea to just go after Mongolia next. I think that's probably what we're going to do. So we'll just send this mass of units to clean up this area, and our tanks are going to focus on positioning themselves to get the campaign against Mongolia going. Could use all of our envoys to flip Kawana to us, might as well do so. We get a little extra error score for doing that since we are at war with their suzerain. Should we just go for it? Let's just do it. Let's go for Golden War, a Golden Age War with Mongolia also. That's right, two wars at the same time. Uh, we can make a point of liberating Johannesburg, which I like being a friend of the city-states. Why not? And then it's one less city for me to micromanage. Oh, this would be great. We'll get the Forbidden City from you. Johannesburg? Oh, we can't liberate it then. <laughs> Definitely got to keep that. We've got two different wonders in here. Let's try to take down Johannesburg. It's pretty easy. We're going to keep the city because of all those wonders. All right, what do we want for our other wild card slot? Maybe we should get the force modernization card in. We could start upgrading some of our units. That'd be good. Yep, there's our first modern armor army. Perfect. All right, let's take Utrecht. All right, let's faith purchase another modern armor army. It's a real mouthful to say. All right, we come down this direction to lay siege to Maastricht has pretty low combat strength, so this shouldn't take very much time at all. Okay, and we're just attacking Maastricht right now, and let's go ahead and take it. Done. Only two more cities to go for the Netherlands, and <laughs> if my infantry can't quite get there in time, it looks like it'll flip independent anyway. Okay, now let's begin the assault on Karabagasun. Okay, we also attack Aksu. One more shot on Rotterdam. And we finish it off with an infantry unit. It is now our city. Let's come back up here and see if we can maybe just maybe finish off Aksu. Yeah. I think the modern armor armies... <laughs> That is such a thing to say. I uh, can handle this pretty well. And if we want to, we could just finish it off. It would be a waste of a promotion. Yeah, let's do it with this tank army instead. Ooh, so close. Well, that's alright. We could take a different one. Perhaps this one here. Get the kill. There's Aksu. Let's keep it. Let's begin the assault on Tilburg. Tilburg, you are mine. Keep getting experience on our tanks, because that's now going to be kind of the fist of our empire as we continue along conquering. And there is the Netherlands eliminated from the game. Boom. That was pretty quick. So I guess once we have healed up and kind of reorganized these forces here and maybe upgraded some more of them, at that point, we will move in on Brazil. Uh, Bologna, I think we can liberate, so it's 
one less city for me to have to manage. Uh, plus, it's a great science city state, so why not? So we will probably roughly time that with our army up here sweeping in from the northwest at almost the same time. Should be good. Okay, you can attack the city too. Got it almost completely surrounded now by modern armor armies. Ooh, nice. That rocket artillery did a bunch of damage to the walls and to the health of this city. So, it's going to be ours in this turn. Is there anything that we want to pillage before we take it? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and hit it once, twice, and three times the trick. Here we go. One more Mongolian city conquered. Let's put our rocket artillery here, which makes it a nice opening attack. Oof, they have done some damage to me here, though. Okay, we need to back off and probably just be willing to take the damage on our tanks to clear up these units. Let's take out these AT crew. Those are going to be pesky. Oh, oh my goodness. What did we get hit by? Nuclear submarines in the area. Ah, we gotta get a destroyer. Let's take a shot at Karakoto. Yeah, let's attack Karakoto. Alright, there is Karakoto. That's one more city under our flag. And it looks like the next one really ought to be Karakorum. So let's go ahead and bring our rocket artillery up to here. It's one good shot there. And we can hit with our missile cruisers as well. They can soften it up a little bit more. And I think it's worth attacking the city with our tanks as well. Yeah, that health is going down mighty fast. Move on to this tile and attack again. We can Faith purchase some rocket artillery here. That's going to help. There is Venture Politics, so we can take on our Tier 4 government now. So yeah, let's swap into Corporate Libertarianism. That's going to give us a ton of policy card slots. There we go. So oh, we probably want Logistics. I might include International Waters. Might not. We'll see. Military First is a possibility. I think we'll switch out international waters, though. But military first could be good. We should probably crank out a few more unit armies. Five-year plan is pretty nice, as is e-commerce, so we probably will keep those two in. Would be nice to have more amenities also, but I think we've kind of gotten past the point of worrying about that. All right, let's finish off the Siege of Karakorum. One more Mongolian city under our control. Bring our rocket artillery forward and start attacking Ulaanbaatar. Alright, assaulting Ulaanbaatar again. We can probably take it this turn. Thanks to these rocket artillery. They're amazing. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and use this infantry. So Mongolia only has, looks like, one, two real cities left. At, there is at least one up here. There might be another. We can go liberate Valletta. Three attacks. And let's go ahead and just pummel it with our tanks. Won't be quite enough. We can probably get it in the next turn. Okay, that's Amalik almost finished off. I think we should focus our missile cruisers on this nuclear submarine here. 
probably prioritize that over the promotion. Because our modern armor can take care of the rest. Alright, that's one more city under our control. And yeah, Urumqi is definitely worth taking. And we are doing total conquest anyway. So I think what we will do is detach a few modern armor units and uh, continue the campaign against the Mongolians, mostly just with these missile cruisers and a few modern armors. That'll be good enough. All right, I think this force uh, on its own should be able to handle these final Mongolian cities. It might be a little bit slow going, but I'm okay with that. We will eventually take them all out. It's good enough. And that means in this one era, we've already cleaned up Spain, the Dutch, and pretty much the Mongolians. It's pretty good for about 20, 30 turns. One, two. Just going to have to take some of this damage, whether I like it or not. All right, let's declare war on Brazil. There we go, Golden Age War. This might be a teeny bit tougher, not too much though. All right, we have good visibility, so let's just immediately start attacking Bologna. <laughs> Three rocket artillery was enough. We're gonna liberate this one. There are no wonders in it that we care about. And that's one more suzerainty we can have very easily. Nice. Quickly. Boom. Boom. Attack. Boom T is ours. Alright, we attack Salvador de Bahia with rocket artillery there. I think we could probably scoot up another one for another shot. That's probably enough to deal with this city. Let's see. Let's get a couple more gold pillages real quick. And Salvador da Bahia is mine. That's wonderful. Looks like a pretty decent city. Nice to have the pyramids. <laughs> a warrior core. Brilliant. Good job, AI. I love it. These really should just be linked. Can't do that much damage, but it's better than nothing, so we'll keep pushing. And it gets experience on our units as well. You can hit Brasilia from here, so you can hit it from here. And you can also hit it from here. Okay, Priscilla is ready to go. Let's go ahead and conquer it. Alright, there's Kokekata. Kokekota. I don't know Mongolian. Okay, let's focus on Rio de Janeiro. Already almost enough. You can hit, and we will go ahead and capture the city with our infantry. Oh, no, we won't. Rolled low, I guess. I don't think we need to do any more pillaging whatsoever, so we're just gonna skip it. Just keep the war machine. Rolling. There's Rio de Janeiro under my control. All right, that was pretty good for just a couple turns. We've already taken four cities away from Brazil. So it looks like they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, probably a, maybe a seventh city over here, possibly. Only two cities of substance left for Mongolia. Okay, we have just entered the atomic era. All right, I think we can take Curitiba in this turn.
We should probably switch it with the nuclear submarine then. We'll do more damage, I'm pretty sure. Shots for sure. Maybe not that bad, actually. Four rocket artillery have basically killed this city. Okay. There's one modern armor attack. And one more to finish it off. Almost. Okay. I think the AT crew can handle it. All right, that's another city. All right, I think we can take Porto Alegre this turn as well. Oh yeah, easily. That's two cities in one turn. It'd be fun to liberate that as well. Pretty easy win. Liberate it. We're the first suzerain of Auckland. How about that? Okay, here comes the war declaration on Vietnam. City from Mongolia. Hey, there's a Stadio de Maracana. That should get us a lot more amenities in the Empire. We're up to six ecstatic cities, seven happy, and 49 content. We're finally out of the amenity problem. So that's Trakio almost done. I think we have enough units here to smash against it to go ahead and conquer it this turn. Maybe the helicopter can pull it off. Yep. Okay, Brazil is down to just this one city here, and they also snuck in a little city over here. We're going to have to use our giant death robots, I think, to finish off Vitoria. Let's send the giant death robot to clean up the Vietnamese cities. Okay, we've got a siege on Bubutu. I think we can just attack directly with our tanks and it should wear it down eventually, maybe not. Wow. Yeah, our rocket artillery are just gonna tear down the Vietnamese cities. They're pretty under leveled. They must have been having a hard time this game. I think we can use the mechanized infantry to take them in. Nice. Oh, poor Benoit. Well, might as well get one attack. Okay, why don't we finish off Natal? There we go. And... Can we take out Vitoria in one turn? Yes, we can. So there goes Brazil. No longer of this world. Okay, we'll have this giant death robot take over Hue, which recently had some pretty terrible flooding in the real world. Hope it's doing okay. Okay, and yeah, let's go ahead and declare war on Nubia. Get that started. Let's get some shots on Valletta. We are near the end of our Mongolian conquest. Come back down to Hunza, another city-state we can liberate. We 
just got more rocket artillery, so let's use them. That's already good enough. Let's take it. Uh, but we're going to liberate it. Let's, let's finish off Bienhua. I think we will raise that city, since it's such a terrible one. Not that we really need to keep any cities now, but it's an especially bad city. Well, you can still destroy the defenses and health of Valletta, and we're going to be liberating that as well. Right, I think we can take out Tumbles pretty easily. Let's find one more unit to send up in that direction. Ah, the helicopter couldn't quite do it. Okay. This armor should be able to. One more city taken away from Nubia. Can't kill Danong. Not yet. But the giant death robot will get it in the next turn. Let's take it over with the modern armor because giant death robots don't get experience. And we're going to liberate. Mongolia's gone. We're down to just Vietnam and Nubia. Getting the assault on shot right now. It's pretty fast assault. I think we can grab it right now. There we go. Alright, Danang is ours. So now we are going to attack Poyan. Okay, Hoyan is ready to be taken. Let's go ahead and grab it with the giant death robot. Move on to the next city. Well, that strips away all of the walls in one hit. Giant Death Robot is honestly good enough. Can we one-shot this? Technically two-shot? Okay, cool. Got another Nubian city. Alright, let's take Kanto. Kanto. Something like that. Alright, that should be good enough for finishing off Queen On. Yeah, this giant death robot can finish off Kerma. shot it. That's Vietnam dead. Alright, we've only got one civilization left to wipe off the map, and that, of course, is Nubia. Yeah, that does enough damage all on its own to pretty much strip the walls. And one hit from that armor. You can hit Napata. 
Ah, oh, that's... Dang. We rolled low. It's got one HP left. Can anyone reach? Looks like this armor might be able to. Yep. Okay, so that's at least one city this turn. I suppose we can prep over here with our rocket artillery. Oh, we can use this unit to take he. We will use our giant death robots as basically super agile, super powerful artillery and use the modern armor to wrap up cities afterwards, hopefully. It's actually putting up a decent little fight. There we go. There he is ours. That's one more city on this turn. We've only got four left before we can take the capital. Did I say four? I meant three. And these missile cruisers really are helping out quite a bit with speeding up our victory. Well, they do have a bomber to try and defend themselves a little bit. It's not going to make a difference. Alright, Maroe is ready to be taken when we feel like taking it. So in fact, we'll send these missile cruisers over to help with Abu Simbel. Can help with El Kukuru. Okay. Let's attack El Kuru one more time. And we can just claim it with a giant death robot. And in Sedanga, we can do quite a bit of fast damage with our navy here. And that is enough to go ahead and finish this city off. We can just get someone down there. It looks like this giant death robot can do that. They're super mobile. So we're going to keep both of those cities. And we've just got two left. Abu Simbel and Meroe. Let's try to do a bit more damage over here. And might as well just throw our armor at the problem. I don't think we have any other giant death robots in range that... We haven't already used this turn. All right, one more hit and we'll have Abu Simbel. Can somebody get in range? Please. Maybe? Not quite. Ah, oh, so close. All right, one more turn. And then this game will be over. In fact, let's just hit Shift-Enter. Alright, let's finish this up. That's Abu Simbel. And this right here is Meroe. And we have won the game. Finally. Oh my goodness. This playthrough took so long. Though its Thanks face may change throughout the let's ages. Skip that. We did get first place ranking, probably just because of the number of units and cities we have at the end, of course. It's always easier to score higher on this when you're doing a domination victory. Man, this playthrough, it took me almost a month thanks to my shoulder injury. But my shoulder's feeling a lot better now, so hopefully I can get these out at a quicker rate coming up soon. Although, of course, this week is uh, American Thanksgiving, so I will be a bit busy with that. I have some other plans coming soon. Uh, I think the next video is going to be something kind of along the lines of a beginner's intro guide to Civ 6 based on the challenge of the month, which for those who've been uh, watching the news about Civilization 6, that challenge is not a challenge. It's very easy. Uh, but we'll save more words about that when I get to the video. Uh, Let's go ahead and look through the graphs just for a bit of fun. We have built over 400 buildings. We captured over 70 cities. 
We founded more cities than anyone else, too, at 15, which is right around the number of cities I often do tend to settle on my own. Uh, we, of course, we didn't lose any cities. Everybody lost their cities except me. Uh, districts constructed over 250 districts. That's a lot of districts. Of course, most of those, I don't know about most, but many of them were earned through conquest. We were pretty low in the great people generation of this game for so long. And honestly, great people only came in handy a couple times for this entire playthrough. Over. <laughs> That's got to be at least, what, 1,300 rounds of combat? That's a lot of combat for one game. Oh my goodness. Our culture just skyrockets here, but you can see uh, if we ignore the exponential growth we were still pretty much at the top of the pack for a pretty good long time uh, i think we will also see that with gold faith culture science yeah so that was all pretty good uh, we didn't raise very many cities just a couple governor titles the most important total religions founded, and we did not found one. War declarations received. Uh, who's yellow? That's Vietnam. Vietnam received over 40 war declarations. I, that must be including city-states declaring war, right? That's the only thing that makes sense to me. I can't imagine the actual large AI civilizations had declared war on Vietnam 40-plus times. That just seems crazy to me. Units killed, over 100 for us. Units lost. We were at the bottom of the pack. We lost, it looks like, maybe six units for the whole game. That's pretty good. And with that, I am going to call this the end of the Shaka Zulu Total Domination series. I'm probably not going to do another Total Domination game for quite a long time. Leave some comments below. Tell me what other series you'd like to see me do. Uh, I'm going to be fishing for more suggestions from those who are watching the videos. I appreciate your feedback all the time. Thanks for watching. This is the Long Lost Gamer, signing out.